porque digo yo, este, si uno está rentando, yo no le da derecho de estar entrando a, a robar lo, lo poco que uno tiene. ¿no? We have been called all kind of niggas around here. They call us all kind of niggas, bitches, hoes, dope fiends, dope dealers. The A's are always varied in size and also they vary in, um, in the amount of rent that the individual pays. I have seen some that are subsidized uh, by uh, public funding. However, there are some that are not subsidized and we have seen rooms as small as 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 in which you have a family of four or more sometimes paying about a thousand dollars a month. So sometimes you're going to have uh, uh, rooms that um, have rodents, that have plagues, that have uh, insects and uh, bed bugs. Um, also you're going to have exposure to lead and other chemicals and landlords that are not very responsive. Pues aquí está un poco difícil la situación porque somos, somos un cuarto de... es un apartamento de seis cuartos. Hay seis familias y solo está un baño y una cocina para todas las, las personas. Algunas veces no se puede cocinar, algunas veces no se puede bañar. Está... Y lo, lo peor del caso es que estamos infestados de, de chinches. Hay mucha cucaracha y, este, y, y no quieren, ellos no quieren hacer nada. No quieren poner... no quieren limpiar. Y este, hemos pasado como violencia doméstica aquí adentro por, los, por las personas que viven acá. Y este, en la situación de ver cómo estamos, en la, en la situación que estamos de la, de la vivienda aquí, este, yo caí con depresión como postraumática en todo mi cuerpo. Ya ahorita estoy en el grado que estoy yendo a, a con terap con terap que tengo terapias, tomando pastillas para el estrés, para dormir. Es algo muy fuerte lo que estamos mm. viviendo en este lugar. Pues como yo me considero y como la evaluación de los doctores y la psicóloga está mal. Porque ella, ella dice que es por las condiciones de vivienda, porque estábamos durmiendo en el, en el... Yo tuve que botar las camas que teníamos como tres veces, he botado las camas, porque hay, se, hay, hay chinches y este, estábamos durmiendo en el suelo con unos colchones, que de lo que yo siento me da un, una, me da un, algo muy, un, como un dolor muy fuerte en la parte de la espalda, siento como que me va cargando una, algo muy pesado y me da como por golpearme la cabeza y tengo miedo de que en la situación de que yo me vaya a poner mucho peor, me vayan a internar en un lugar, tengo los niños y, y, y no tengo, sinceramente no tengo yo como alguien que, que alguien me los pueda como cuidar en ese momento. Y no quiero llegar a, a esa circunstancia porque no quiero que ellos pasen una experiencia más fuerte, aparte de todo lo que, ellos, de lo que los niños han vivido, ¿no? porque han pasado por violencia doméstica aquí en el país. Porque digo yo, este, si uno está rentando, yo no le da derecho de estar entrando a, a robar lo, lo poco que uno tiene. ¿no? Living in an SRO represents another series of challenges besides the ones that I described earlier. So depending on the area where you are, uh, depending on the people living in the building, yes, sometimes you're going to have people knocking in the middle of the night uh, offering drugs, which is going to be like definitely a, a, an extra challenge for those in recovery. Uh, there, there's a lot of uh, frictions that uh, most of us do not experience living in our, in our own places.
Call the police. Yeah. You gotta go. Go ahead. You gotta end up in the jail. Go ahead. You gotta end up in the jail. Go ahead. You gotta end up in the jail. Go ahead. Go ahead. You gotta end up in the jail. Landlord, I want you to leave right now. You ain't no landlord. I want you to leave right now. No, you're not going to leave right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. They're not trying to help you right now. What you going to do with this shit that this person has? Okay, and we're having big, big problems around here with management. Um, we have been going through it. Police has been called out here numerous and numerous of times. Well, it started, actually it started a year ago when they first came in here. They they came in here and started tearing up, tearing up walls, kicking people out for no reason at all. And I called um, the city, the city inspector. They came in here and found out that there was lead, asbestos up in here. And instead of for them abating the place and doing what they were supposed to, they went and painted over everything put floors down over 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 the lead and the, and, the, and the asbestos that's up in here. We have been called all kind of niggas around here. They call us all kind of niggas, bitches, hoes, dope fiends, dope dealers. They 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 have jumped on tenants up in here. Their lawyer been in in court all week trying to get an extension and the, and the, and the judge is not giving to it. He told them they have to show up on Monday. They are getting evicted out of here. So they are running around here and they're doing everything. They go all night long, they're in the laundry room, slamming doors and 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 and, and, and up, up upstairs, banging out there in the hallway, call itself working, banging and stuff after 11 and 12 o'clock at night. You know, just so they can get on our nerves. So we can come out there so they can start a conflict so we can start, you know, and then and, and, and the son runs around all the time with his phone in his hand and, and um, videotaping us and stuff and everything. And as of today, you guys have witnessed that got a taste of this is what we're going through around here every day. He was gonna run this place like a prison, him and his son. And that's exactly what he's trying to do. Actually, he's running it worse than a prison because in prison, they don't treat you like this. Um, Turning the heat up late at night, all day long, uh, burning the heat, trying to make us suffer. Bathrooms is locked. The showers is locked. Uh, since I've been here a year, I've been taking antidepressant medication, um, and I've been taking that for like one whole year since he's been here in the building. My health has went down because of the harassment. Um, because of the mistreatment, he wants to strip you from your pride, your dignity, your character. And I told him he couldn't have mine. He cannot have it. So, you know, SROs can be owned um, by nonprofits such as us here at, at THC. They can also be governmentally um, owned and operated SROs, and they can also be privately owned and operated SROs. It's more cost effective for the city to to fund and support nonprofit organizations like ours that are helping to house people than to pay for the constant services that are required by people who are homeless such as um, medical expenses of ER visits, um, incarceration, the shelter system. So when you spend and invest more money in housing it's more, it's both more cost, cost effective to the community, but it's also just a good investment overall just for everyone's health and well-being. Came, we were driving back from Missouri, our car burned up 126 miles away from here, and a truck driver and his sister threw all our stuff into, into, into his truck and drove us to 24th Metro where we wound up with shopping carts.
full of our stuff and a friend of mine brought his bike and a trailer which we stuck our dogs in and um, then the hot, the hot team found us and stuck us in the Civic Center Hotel. Oh, and the Civic Center Hotel, they had this, didn't have separate bathrooms for men or women. Um, it didn't happen to me, but there were several women that were in the shower when some man would come and kick in the door. And they were, they were drug infested. I mean, they were dealing drugs right out in the open in the hallway and, and doing drugs in the hallway and didn't really like living around it, but it was better than living on the street. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I lived in the Civic Center for six or seven months and then my my number came up, I guess, through GA and they this was the housing that they offered me. This place is a lot better. There's issues, you know, there's cockroaches. Can't not much you can do about that. Um, I don't have bed bugs fortunately. But this is it's not the best place. The only thing that really makes me angry is that I have no chance to move up into, like when they're building new housing, new affordable housing, they only want to move homeless people into it. And I think that there should be a step-up program where since I've lived here for almost two years, I have no write-ups, I have no, I'm not behind on my rent. Why don't I get a chance to move into one of these little studio apartments that they're building but I don't because I'm not homeless anymore. And well, my rent is paid from GA, okay? And if all I, if I didn't go out and find these two little stipend and things, I'd be living off $124 a month and $189 in food stamps. Maggie is my service dog. She helps me with my anxiety because I have pretty high anxiety and PTSD and, and a bit of depression, but Maggie's, that's her job, and she does it well. Yeah, she she's all leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> look at that look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Most of our families are immigrant families from China, um, so they came from different areas from China, some some of them from Hong Kong. Uh, most of them are working really minimum wage jobs. Some of them didn't get paid the minimum wage as well. The competition is high. A lot of people are looking for housing in San Francisco and for people who are low income or, or income really low, um, as are always are probably the only place they can afford. The city is trying to do as much as uh, they can, but um, we can still see it's not adequate. It's, it's not nearly enough because we, besides the SRO families, we also have a huge homeless situation that we need to take care of. So the, the demand is high, but uh, the funding is not there. Chosa 
谷速啊，因為你主要出去嗰度咧，要等人排隊咧，輪到你先可以用個廚房。而個去廁所咧，又係要排隊嘅。排你難過咧？我要搬嘅話咧，相對嚟講要個收入可以。負擔得起先得，因為好似而家有我負擔房屋咧，因為我得一個人做咧，其實都唔可以達到我負擔房屋個申請資格，因為佢個收入我達唔到，唔同。就算你喺中國咁咧，係咁啊，俾咗好好多嘅環境，其實都有，但係嚟到呢度你話冇，其實係假嘅啫。San Francisco is uh, facing an unprecedented housing crisis, which uh, is very tragic. This city um, is special not because uh, there are beautiful hills and beautiful Victorian houses, but rather because the people that build this city that are very special, the working class, the artists, the bohemian people that work this city, that build this city, and now they've been forced to relocate. So we're talking about the most affluent city in the United States, that uh, has uh, anywhere between 7,000 and 10,000 homeless individuals living out there. So that creates a lot of questions about the priorities of our federal and uh, state and local governments.